Hi everyone, welcome to Losing Weight Like It's Your Job. I thought I would do this uh, update at the park today since it's a nice day. Uh, I've got the pug with me. I'll, I'll show you a picture of her. She's being good at the moment. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a nice day, so I thought I'd get out and walk a little bit. I have not been doing walking this week. It's been really warm. And last week I, I had told you I was having a really hard time with uh, a little bit of depression last week. So um, I feel better this week for sure. Um, I did lose, um, okay, so I, last week I said I had to switch out a scale. And that scale was at 189.2 when I started. And uh, today it was at 186.0. So. Um, from that time about a week and a half ago when I switched it out to now I've lost about two and a half pounds or so so I'm happy with that i um, this week was all about just trying to stay on track I knew I wasn't gonna get any walking in um, and but it was more about trying not to overeat I still feel like I am a little bit but that's what this week's going to be about Exercise wise, I've done nothing except like when I go to the store, I will I will walk, um, I'll park my car and walk a little further. But I mean, other than that, that's, that's all I've been doing. So even just bringing her over to the park is actually pretty good for me this week so far. This week coming, <laughs> I have goals. So uh, to, to at least start keeping myself moving forward, um, Exercise wise, my goal this week is to hit two to three days at 40 minutes or more. It's not that difficult. I'm going to have to get up early because it is warm. Um, but I can do that. I tell myself I can do that. I'm lazy. I am lazy. Uh, I know that. <laughs> I uh, don't have a lot of energy and then I know part of that is because I'm not walking. Um, and I'm not building those muscles. So. Um, so that is my goal, two to three days. And then as far as food goes, um, I want to, I, I had those those paper plates, the regular size paper plates. Uh, I'm gonna go down to the smaller one. So I'm still eating the same food. Like tonight I'm gonna make salmon. I've got the potatoes. Um, I can't believe it's not butter. Um, I don't have a fat-free cheese, but I've reduced that cheese so I'm gonna use it tonight that was the dog <laughs> um, and uh, corn I do a lot of corn because on Weight Watchers corn is a free food so with the I can't believe it's not butter sprayed on it I think the one product for me that does help me a lot is that I can't believe it's not butter it has gotten so expensive when I started this those were um, two <laughs> are you okay over here <laughs> When I started this, I was uh, buying it at $2.99 per container, and it's liquid, the liquid one. It was $4.99 in the store. I mean, I, it's like choices. Do I pick up two of those? It's $10. I could pick up some a main meal meat for that, you know, your chicken. Or, but I use it so much. Sorry, there's other dogs around here, and they're playing fetch. Um... I use it so much that it is actually um, worth it for me. Um, I use it when I make muffins, when, if I make pancakes, the Kodiak, Kodiak cakes ones. I use it in a sugar-free syrup. Um, so, I mean, I spray it on my corn. I use it when I make the kids. Um, I don't eat the rice, but I'll make rice pilaf, like the rice aroni or the chicken rice, and I'll use the, I can't believe it's not butter help bring the fat down um, but I mean other than that that's my goal for this week is just to kind of stay on track um, put my points into Weight Watchers because I stopped doing that this week and I mean um, I can tell that um, that I eat a little bit more because I'm not tracking um, I think that's a big problem if you're if you're just gonna do it yourself at least make you know yourself some notes put it in your phone on your computer um, sorry, my eyes are starting to water because it's a little bright. Um, but uh, other than that, I mean, it was a decent week. It wasn't my best. So I think part of my problem is that I haven't been eating right. Um, I haven't felt like I've been eating right. I've been doing okay, but I haven't been tracking it. So if you're going to do it, just 
write it down, put it in your phone, put it on your computer, take notes of what you're eating so that next week if you don't do so well, you can look back and go, okay, I need to change this. Or if you do really well, you, you can look back and go, okay, this is what I did good. Especially a month from now, all of a sudden you're having issues, you can look back at your good weeks and, and see what you did right. So I do think tracking is important. Um, getting out there and walking. You can still lose weight without exercising. You can't. You're just gonna do it much slower. But if, I, I, like I said before, if you're not gonna do exercise, just not get out and walk, swim, whatever, when you're maintaining, then maybe, you know, just getting movement in is more important. So, um, those are my goals. And up my water intake, because I know I haven't been doing a great job at that. I tried to, to this week, but um, trying to start a stepping it up a bit during the daytime. In the evening, I drink more in the evening than I do during the day. I'm trying to lay off the uh, Diet Coke, things like that. So I hope you had a great week. Um, I will check in next week. Uh, I try to do these on Friday because it's easier, but I'll give you a look around the park, give you a look at the pug, and I hope you have a great week. Um, let me know how you're doing. Let me know if you have, oh, my eyes are watering because it's bright out here. Uh, let me know how you're doing if, you, uh, if you're needing help. Um, I know it's hard to do it by yourself. My husband follows along, but he's just eating what I put in front of him, how I plan it, if I'm gonna get up and walk, that's all on me. So um, my, uh, my niece is moving back from Texas and uh, I'll have a walking partner in a few weeks. So that'll be nice. Because um, I think part of my problem, too, is I hate walking. I really hate walking alone. It doesn't matter if you're having a conversation. Just knowing you're with somebody else, you're both listening to your music because it's going to be different. And, um, you know, you have a conversation as you want to. So have a great week. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the video. And uh, have a great one. And there's the pug in her stroller because uh, she's an old dog. She's a pug. And she, when we got her, she was a rescue. Uh, in 2014, they said she was six or seven. So she's either, she's somewhere around 14 years old, somewhere around there, maybe a little less or more. And uh, she's been struggling this week too. And that's another thing that I've been having to deal with is uh, she's not having her best couple weeks either. <laughs>